My name's Catherine Painter. Um, I have a master's degree in aerospace engineering and I currently work for BAE Systems on their Sigma Leadership Programme. So when I chose my universities, um, I looked around a couple of different ones um, and when I visited Sheffield, I really, really loved the feel of the place um, and I really liked the way the course was structured. Um, it's interdisciplinary, so you do stuff with different departments. Um, and I think because of that, it really prepared me well for my job. Um, and I loved the, the place so much that I still come back every weekend um, and I live here when I'm not away for work. When I did my A-levels, I was one of two girls um, in my physics class and that was a real shock to me because I'd come from a girls' school into a mixed school um, and that kind of made me really apprehensive about coming to uni and thinking that I might be the only girl um, on my course. And when I got here, I was really su surprised to find that I wasn't the only girl on my course. There were a couple of us um, and it was absolutely not an issue. No one treated me any differently. Um, and I think that was, that was really good and it gave me the confidence that I went into industry um, to not have that concern again and to know that it didn't matter. There's loads to do when you're at university extracurricular to your course um, and I think it's really important that people engage with those activities. Um, so I was president of the Aerospace Society, um, I worked part time for a club night um, in marketing um, and all those skills that I learned around time management um, and social skills and interacting and leading people are really what got me the job with BAE Systems. Um, I found that only a small section of my interview was technical and a large amount of it was around those other competencies. Um, so I think it's really important that people take all the opportunities they get at university um, to build up those skills. During my degree, I studied aerodynamics and propulsion, um, and yet I don't work in aerodynamics and propulsion now. Uh, we do have engineers that specialise in those types of subjects, um, and they're technical experts at what they do. But I decided I wanted to go into a more management role, so I'm essentially an engineering manager. Um, and you have to be an engineer to manage engineers, and that's really important. Um, but people need to realise that they can do almost anything with their engineering degree, um, and that everyone in our company does different things um, on that basis.